Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video is we will do solving rational inequalities. Nakita ko kasi na marami nagre-request nito sa ating YouTube channel at all over the Facebook and sa YouTube, ang dami mga senior high school ang gustong matutunan kung paano ba mag-solve ng rational inequalities. So we have here the part 1 and I hope na makatulong ito sa inyong journey in dealing with the grade 11 mathematics, mathematics which is yung general mathematics. Open ito sa UMS, ABM, STEM, at sa mga iba pang sudyanan na nag-aaral sa grade 11. So, basically, I hope na natutunan nyo, mapanood nyo yung video natin about solving quadratic inequalities kasi maaaring makatulong yung sa inyo. Okay? So, without further ado, let's start solving rational inequalities. So, we have here an example. Solve the rational inequality below. We have x minus 3 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Now, what are the steps para ma-solve natin or mahanap natin yung mga possible solutions ng given inequality na x minus 3 all over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0? Una, write the given inequality or the rational inequality in the general form for p of x all over q of x is less than or equal to 0. So, baka malito kayo na possible din na ma-encounter yung inequality is greater than a symbol, less than, o kaya greater than or equal. Okay? So, let's start. Sabi, ilagay mo na raw sa general form. Then after that, solve for the p of x is equal to 0 and q of x is equal to 0. Kasi, yan yung mag-serve ng way natin on how to find the test points. Number three, use the number line. So, una natin gagawin ay swerte tayo na yung ating inequality is already in general form which is p of x all over q of x is less than or equal to zero. So, ang gagawin natin is to get the numerator which is x, plus, x minus 1 or sorry, x minus 3 gawin natin siyang equal to zero. And then, yung atin namang denominator ay x plus 1 is equal to 0. And get the zeros of it, your x is equal to positive 3. Transpose lang natin para mas madali. And then this one, when you transpose positive 1 to the other side, that will give you x is equal to negative 1. Ito na ngayon yung zeros natin. So, we can have this. Gamit tayo ng isang number line. Your x is equal to... Three, and then your x is equal to negative 1. Sila yung magiging test points natin. So mag-draw tayo ng isang imag imaginary line dito. Gamit yung ating test point. Ito rin, which is negative 1. Sorry, critical values. So ang target natin ngayon is to choose a test point. So, dito sa middle part, I will be using x is equal to 0. And then sa right part naman, dito tayo sa region na to, ha? Sa region na to, ang ginamit ko test point ay 0. At dito naman, sa left side ng ating critical value, which is negative 1, ang pipiliin ko naman is negative 2. Mas madali yan. Negative 2. And then sa right side region, sa right region, I will be using x is equal to 4. So, next step natin ngayon is to use the original inequality to test whether the critical values and the test points, if they are included sa ating mga solution. Yung ating original equation or inequality is x minus 3 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So, kapag ginamit ko, yung negative 2 magiging negative 2 minus 3 over negative 2 plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Pag sinimplify natin yan, that will give us negative 5 over negative 1 or that is 5 is less than or equal to 0. 
So kung mapansin nyo kasi, para silang negative, that's why negative 5 divided by or all over negative 1, that will give you positive 5. So ito yung statement natin. 5 is less than or equal to 0. Is it true or false? So syempre, itong statement na to ay false. Dahil, mas mataas ang 5 compared kay 0. So let's move on to the next test point. Ang test point natin is 0. So, try natin ha. 0 minus 3 over 0 plus 1. Ginamit ko na agad dito yung sana. Ginamit ko na itong inequality na to. Is less than or equal to 0. So, ang mo dyan, this is negative 3 over 1 less than or equal to 0. Simplifying the fraction, that will give you negative 3 is less than or equal to 0. So, we have the statement negative 3 is less than or equal to 0. Ang tanong dito, yan ba ay isang true or false statement? So definitely, that is a true statement. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next test point. We have x is equal to 4. So, palitan natin, 4 minus 3 over 4 plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Pag sinimplify natin yan, that will give us 1 over 5. Tama ba ba ako? Tama tayo. And then you have less than or equal to 0. So, I think this statement is a false statement dahil mas mataas ang 1 over 5 kay 0. So ngayon, alam natin na yung region na part ng ating solution ay itong middle region natin. Gamit lang tayo ng ibang ink. Yan. Ang next target natin ngayon is to test whether the test points, oh sorry, the critical values, negative 1 and 3, are included with our solution. So, try natin. So, try natin. You have x minus 3 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Kapag ginamit ko yung x is equal to negative 1. So, negative 1 minus 3 over negative 1 plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Dito pa lang, without simplifying the whole fraction, yung negative 1 plus 1 natin, that will give you 0 as your denominator. So, ang mangyari dyan, you have negative 4 over 0, automatic, magiging undefined yan. Therefore, hindi nakasama talaga si negative 1. Okay? So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay isang open circle because negative 1 is not included kasi magiging undefined yung ating rational inequality. Okay? So, let's have the other one. If x is equal to 3. So, gawin natin 3 minus 3, sorry, minus 3 over 3 plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. You have over 4. Yan. Pag sinimplify niyo yung fraction na yan, if your numerator is 0, that will give you a simplified form of 0. Okay? Ang tanong, ang 0 ba is less than or equal to 0? Yes, this is a true statement. Therefore, yung sagot natin o yung ating critical value na 3 ay included. So, we will be using a solid circle kasi yung ating critical value na 3 ay included. Again, tayo gumamit ng open circle sa ating critical value na negative 1 because negative 1 is not included. At tayo gumamit ng solid circle sa 3 kasi nga yung 3 natin na critical value ay kasama sa solution. So ang tanong dito, how are we going to represent our answer in interval notation? So as you can see, um, gagamit ang tayo dito since ito ay open circle, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis because the critical value is not included. And then, lagyan natin negative 1. 
parenthesis, negative 1, comma, 3. So, T naman, since kasama siya, we will be using a bracket. Okay? So, the answer or the solution of the given rational inequality is none other than open parenthesis, negative 1, comma, 3, bracket. So, this is the answer. I hope na natutunan niyo yung process on how to solve rational inequalities. And sa mga grade 11 students dyan, kapit lang. Kung kayo yung nag-aaral sa modular at sa online class, pagtiisan lang hanggang sa matapos ito at kayang-kaya nyo ito. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat at God bless sa iyo.